Hello and howdy, friends. How's everybody doing tonight, man? Glad to see you all here. Nate, how's it going, bud? Chocobo, hello, sir, hello. We are starting up our playthrough of Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, if that wasn't obvious enough. I remember very little about the game. Um, Were there any settings or anything? I don't know if we still have our save room before or anything like that. We're going to be starting a new save anyways. Like, I don't think it really matters. But... I'm curious if it is still here or not. No game files were found. Okay, so it is gone. I remember, like, it wasn't that long ago that I went through and cleared out my memory card. I probably need to do it again, to be honest with you, because it's been a while. But... <laughs> Whatever is fun. You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that means, buddy. Yeah. Seafood. <laughs> Fried clams. Runa fish. Cracked crabs. Runa salad. Jumbo shrimp. Runa sushi. I think Scooby right, likes tuna. Two, don't forget the real reason we're here. Go lobster bisque. No, silly. We're here to solve a mystery. Aww. My friend Holly says there's strange goings on up here at her family home, Mystic Manor. <laughs> and she could really use our help. Look, there she is now. Hello, random lady that I've never met before. Hey, Holly. <laughs> hey Daphne. I'm so glad you could make it. And you must be Freddy, Velma, Shaggy, and Are they using the same face wow, model? The whole gang. I've heard I mean, so they are cousins or whatever, so it makes sense, I guess, but... All of your cases. So I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. Uh, Daphne's cheeks really? might be a little bit la louder, <laughs> wider. <laughs> it's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to unveil some new top-secret invention when he disappeared without a trace. No one saw him leave Mystic Manor, and no one will help me search the premises. It don't tell me, because it's haunted, right? Yeah, Shaggy. How'd you know? Because it's always haunted. Keepers. Don't worry, Holly. We'll help you look around. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? Wrong. Yeah. Like me and Scoob have seen this show before. You guys can go poking around scaring up some spooksters, but we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Only ghost-free environments for us. Rip roast me is the way to be. Okay, you scaredy cats. Stay here if you want. Come on, guys. See you later. You know, Scoob, I could really go for a ruby snack. You read my mind, pal. Yeah, or maybe my stomach. <laughs> well, what do you know? Scooby snacks. Hey there, Scoob. Wait up. Leave some for me. Don't mm. smells fishy here. Not fishy, pal. Scooby snacky. Raggy, wait! Gee, Scoob, it's not like they got your name all over them. Yeah, well, actually, they do. <laughs> Scooby Doo! So here's my question Were Scooby Snacks named Raggy. after Scooby? Or was Scooby named after the snacks? That's what I'm curious about. I'm sure they probably answered that at some point throughout the series, but, like, there's a lot of episodes of Scooby-Doo. I haven't seen all of that. I've seen a lot of them. I really do enjoy Scooby, but I definitely haven't seen all of them. <laughs> One of these days, man, I do want to sit down and just watch all of them. Not, like, at the same time, because that would probably take a while. <laughs> you know, but in general, I definitely do want to one of these days. I vaguely remember the game now, at least, vaguely. Not like completely, but I have an idea of what's going on. Can we double jump? No. We also can't 
jump very high, it seems. They were made specifically for Scooby and a pup named Scooby-Doo. Okay. That makes sense. So, like, did they then, like, get super popular or something afterwards? And so they just started being made nationally? Or, like, does the gang just make boxes and boxes of Scooby snacks? And take them absolutely everywhere they go. <laughs> oh, that's right. The game's like Metroidvania-esque. I remember now. You get new abilities and whatnot that let you do different kinds of exploring and all that. Like, I don't remember if double jump is one of the abilities or not, but... But I, rem I, I do remember... Vaguely being able to, like, learn to do new things. Like jumping or walking through that tar more effectively or something. Where I roll. Is there any point in grabbing all of the Scooby Snacks? I don't remember what they're for. I'm sure they had a purpose, but I do not remember it. Collect a monster token, you can see him in the Professor's Monster Gallery, okay. I think that's... Never mind, I was gonna say, I think that's everything we can get now. I somehow missed the the little jumpy platform thing. What, what are these? Trampolines, that's, <laughs> that's what they're called. This one moves, right? It's connected to a drone? To go like back and forth yeah I don't think I'm gonna collect all of these ones these ones seem a bit annoying to collect <laughs> to collect all of let me go this way damn it oh my god I can't get like any of these ones over here yeah no, I'm, I'm done with that <laughs> we don't need to collect all of them anyways it's fine if we really need them they're they're here we can always come back to it we can ignore Don Knotts for now. We talked to him last time anyways. I, To be honest, I completely forget what he tells us, but <laughs> I think he tells us, like, just something about the game or something. I don't remember. Capical, hello, sir. How you doing, man? Good to see you. There's something else we can do. Yeah, we can run. Okay. Do any of the other buttons do anything? No. Not right now, at least. I think eventually we get a shovel. So we can dig up, like, where the flowers are or something. I think that's a thing that happens. I feel like we probably need to find Shaggy, no? Maybe not. I don't remember him falling into the hole the last time we played, but I guess he must have, right? Need a key to unlock this gate. Okay, so we're not going there. Ah, uh, that's what the snacks are for. They're to unlock different areas. That makes sense. Snack gate unlocked. Nice. I'm guessing this gate needs another key. Which... Is just out of reach. Of course. So... Springs invention. So that either lets us double jump or jump higher. Probably jump higher since it's a spring. That would make the most sense. And there's only one one level we have unlocked. So <laughs> God, words are hard, man. <laughs> it's a struggle. Ooh, a key. I think I know what that key's for. Oh well. Maybe. Where are you? Oh, well, that's a key door. So, I think you're SOL there, whoever's back there. Is it Daphne's cousin? What was her name? Was it Holly? I feel like it might have been Holly. The Headless Spectre? Where? Springs Adventure before you can make this jump. Okay, well... I'm so glad you found me. Oh, it was just awful. As soon as we got inside the mansion, the mastermind appeared. 
He told us that he is behind my uncle's disappearance. Here, take this map. It'll help you get around a little easier. Map from the pause menu. Cool. I think we can handle that. Can we go, like... There's some way to open this, right? Maybe we do it from the other side. Yeah. Can we, like, press this somehow? This book that's obviously, like, sticking out? No? Maybe maybe we need another invention to learn how to push buttons. <laughs> or books, or whatever you want to call it. It's like, there's obviously a secret. Oh. Wait, did that actually hurt us? Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> we're going to end up dying in the first section here. We need to be a little more careful with the bats, I guess. My God. I'm telling you, man, it's a struggle. Assuming we don't want to fall down there. That would probably be a bad time, but I do want these Scooby Snacks. <laughs> GG me. I thought we could make the jump, but... Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I literally didn't notice the floor there. That was terrible. Just... And our jump, like, length is absolute garbo. Okay, we can't seem to go through spider webs. Helmet of engine to bash through the webs. Okay, so nothing else we can do in here right now. So if we can't do anything here, and we can't do anything in, in this room, then I guess we just go back out to the courtyard or whatever you want to call it. I really thought we could go in there last time, though. Like, right away without finding anything. I mean, I guess not, but... There's not, like, another door we're missing in here, right? No. Okay. Oh, I just noticed the floor mat. The door mat, rather, said I said go away. I'm assuming the one outside says go away. Yeah. <laughs> Noodle, can we get some new door mats, love? <laughs> I want one that says go away on the outside and then says I said go away on the inside. That's perfect. That's the monster gallery. I don't want to unlock that yet. That's just to look at stuff. Oh, hi, Don Knotts. Bet you're wondering where the key is to the gate, huh? Well, so am I. I'm pretty sure it's buried around here somewhere, but you'll need a shovel. Here, take this and get to work. I'm pretty sure Don Knotts is the one that hid the key. <laughs> like, I don't know. It seems off, uh, awfully sus to me that he's like, I don't know where the key is, but I'm pretty sure it's buried around here somewhere. Here's a shovel I just so happen to have on me. Uh, <laughs> take it, Scoob. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure he hid the key. Wonder if he's the bad guy all along. It's definitely Don Knotts. Never trust him. Are these all just sandwiches? <laughs> Who's out here burying sandwiches, man? Donuts would never do such a thing. Mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> it seems really sus to me. I think it's Donuts. Oh, nuts. We just like, does this just run too? Yeah, it does. Okay. Getting around a little bit faster would be nice. Maybe there's another invention to increase Scoob's speed a little bit. <laughs> Hello again, Dawn. You again, eh? Well, this is the fishing village. Be careful not to fall in the water. I'll try. Ghosts don't help me at all. Find me some zombies. They make One thousand percent the cousin. I'm trying to think honestly if I think it would be the cousin or not. I think I need to see if they introduce any more characters first. I could see it being the cousin. But why would she call the gang to come out and help find 
out like what happened to her uncle or whatever if she's the one that did it you know oh, we can grab on that i was trying to but it didn't work it's carefully around the flying fish okay don't get hit by flying fish plausible deniability i mean i guess yeah <laughs> Also, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually think it's Don Knotts, though. Because, like, it's not usually the uh, guest characters in the Scooby game. Or in the Scooby games. In the Scooby show that do the bad stuff. But he still seems super sus to me. So, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure we can break these barrels at some point. Oh god, hi. I forgot that you, like, appeared. Come on, sorry, I want these snacks. Can you, like, move away from this? Ow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just want the snack! <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure there will be another health up around here somewhere. Movie Smash, I like it. I do vaguely remember this part now. Like the whole beginning of the game. The last thing I remember doing is going around like the garden area. Oh, there's Shaggy. He made it out of that hole. He's good. Let me collect my stuff first, Shaggy, and then, <laughs> and then I'll throw you up there. Alright, how do I... Okay, just walk over to him. And then how do we throw X? Perfect. We... Okay, it seems like we can only swing side to side. I can't use this to, like, get the other stuff early. Oh, my bad. Oh, probably don't want to run into these. I'm assuming they hurt. Can I still jump on you even if I can't, like, destroy you? Probably not, huh? No, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna die if I keep trying. <laughs> oh, no! At least the thingy stays up for us. We don't have to do that again. That was a mean placement of one of these uh, hooks. Right over the, the death pit. What is that thing down there? That thing doesn't look very nice. Is this a teleporter? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Maybe I'll take up gardening. Can't do anything with the button yet either, it doesn't look. Alright, Mr. Dawn, what you got for us? Absolutely nothing. Alright, I like it. <laughs> In my day, we had to jump over monsters twice as tall as that. Oh, now you want to talk. So give me a little spring in your step. Look for one of the professor's inventions at the end of the wharf. You can use the door behind me to get there. Good luck. I wonder if there's any sequence breaking the for the game. Every time I play a new game, I just want to look up the speed run of it to see, like, how they broke it, you know? <laughs> what tactics did they use to get around more quickly or to skip sections of the game or whatever? Take the boat for a shortcut around the cannery? I'm assuming that just means, like, to get back to where we just were. not like going to a new zone or anything like that i know the ps2 was pretty short on memory and things but uh 
they really need this many loading zones in the game. I mean, if they can make games like GTA work, man, I'm pretty sure they could have all of Scooby-Doo be on one level. Are those the springs? Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Now you can do a double jump by pressing X again after jumping. I don't know how springs make that work. <laughs> Okay, so we still can't jump in the the junk here, but we can jump like farther. So like where Don Knotts was, we can jump past him, just as an example. Does this go anywhere back here? No, okay. So we have to go backwards. Can't see Mr. Krabby. Can I jump to that? Probably not. I don't think, I don't think so. I think we need to get the ability to like actually move around in the oil slicks before we can get over there. Yeah, I don't see any way of doing anything here. It is cute how they did it like different episodes of the TV show, though. Like Fear on the Pier Part 1, Part 2, etc. We fall in the water? <laughs> probably. I'm not gonna try. Even though it... Well, I was gonna say, even though it probably respawn us right here, but I feel like this game probably sets respawns to wherever you came into the level at. So probably not, actually. So wait, now that this is raised... Oh. Let me Looks read that like again. Tide's coming in. Watch your step. Didn't see what it said. This button appears to be stuck. Come back after you find an invention that we let you bash it. Okay. So that's a no. So now, can we... Like you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a like big a invisible wall. wall. Never mind. <laughs> I thought maybe we could get past it now, but nope. On the Professor Springs invention, did you? Those will come in handy back at the fountain where I met you. You need something for your feet to avoid sticking to the tar. Maybe the Professor has an invention for that. All them Scooby Snacks, you hear? Who doesn't grow on trees? Well, um. Never mind. Probably. Damn it. <laughs> Bro, I suck at this. Can I get the Scooby Snacks? Oh, I remember this. The hitboxes for some of these Scooby Snacks are really freaking bad. Like, I'm obviously touching that, but it's not letting me collect it for some reason. Like, we are right on top of the shadow for it. But yeah, it just won't let us have it for some reason. Maybe we need to, like... Yeah, I don't think we can jump any higher than this. <laughs> like... I think, do we have to grab this thing to get it? Probably. Yeah. Like, the hitbox is just a little bit... Oh, you, you're a bastard. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Where is the thing? Let me grab the thing. Thank you. The hitbox seems to just be a little bit higher for the Scooby Snacks than it looks like it should be. Okay, we can collect these ones without that thing. Thank goodness, because... That thing is a struggle. Wait, now we can like, yeah. We can skip some of it. Hang on to the pelican for a shortcut back. Be sure to grab all the goodies along the way. Come here, pelican. Excuse me, sir. There we go. 
Is there... We don't seem to have any control of it, though. Is it even possible to... Oh. No, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, is it even possible to miss any of the goodies on the way back? And then, I thought we were missing the sandwiches, but no, I just... I'm just stupid, that's all. We're full health, that's why we can't grab any of the sandwiches. You have anything new to say? No, okay. Scooby, Scooby Dee Doo. I mean, we have a bunch of snacks. We might as well open it, right? And before that stops us from opening something else now. Now, good old Dawn specifically mentioned the fountain here. No. Okay, I thought maybe there was something here at the fountain. Oh, there's that key back here, I remember. More like I saw it and that reminded me, but close enough to remembering, right? <laughs> now, we can also go back in the house now and collect something, but it's probably just like a monster coin or a couple extra Scooby Snacks. It's at the end of that path where we got the first key. Can we stomp on spiders? We can. There was a section that said we needed to have the spring to collect whatever to get across the gap. Thank goodness for the double jump, though. That makes the platforming so much easier. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was like two platforms coming together. I, honestly, I didn't realize it was going to move at all, but... Helmet to bash. We do eventually get the ability to fight back, right? I think we do. Can we jump down from here? No. Okay. The game is, uh... You're a bastard, dude. Game is very... Generous. With the sandwiches and whatnot, I noticed. With the food in general. That second werewolf, man. They knew what they were doing when they placed that there. That was an absolute dick move. Uh, no, there was nothing up there that I care about. Food? Oh, we're full. What, do they just, like, wander around randomly? Guess we need to watch for that whenever we go to make jumps that we don't just jump into one, get knocked back, and die instantly. Like, garbage. And the game seems to want us to go that way, but what's over here? That's there's plunger invention to make it up this ramp. Ah. Oh, bruh. We could just keep some of our forward momentum. Because for what Because when we touch the ground, it triggers that we can double jump again, even though it is like the tar here. But our momentum's like pulling us backwards. I feel like you could sequence break this here. I don't know if it would really do you any good, but <laughs> I feel like it's possible. You'd need to, like, fall off the platform instantly. Right. 
Mm. Okay. I give up. But I feel like it's probably possible to do. Wait. Oh, there's an actual run button with R1. Okay. That's nice. That would probably help us make some of, like, the longer jumps, too. Oh, okay. Don't touch the witch's brew. It's not friendly. You platform, I need you. Thank you. Food? No food. How rude. Hello, Scooby-Doo. Here are two of the professor's inventions, the slippers and lampshade. You can use the slippers to sneak quietly past monsters by holding the R2 button while walking. You can use the lampshade to hide from monsters by holding the R2 button while standing still. Use your new lampshade and slippers to avoid the zombie hiding in that urn. Wait, where? Oh, up here probably? <laughs> I guess that would make sense, huh? So, if we were like tiptoeing past one... Oh wait, no. No, no, no. Never mind. We came from this way. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. If we tiptoe past one, does that just mean they don't show up at all? Like they just stay in the urn? Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Another plunder section. I'm assuming there's no tiptoeing past the evil piranha plants. Oh my god. I want that Scooby snack. Oh god. I thought we were dead. Food? me go up there no there's stuff up there though maybe we just like go around maybe it loops hello sir how are you have you played any power world yet my guy or did you spend all night making music also if you spend all night making music where's it at you gotta share my guy a little bit nice man which server did you uh hop on it was on until 6 when the server went down. It, yeah, that's just the restart time. The average uh, downtime for the server is only like 5 minutes though. The OG, the casual, yeah, that's fun. Casual is a really good place to start and to learn, of course. I do personally prefer the solo slash PvP one. Even though the devs of the game haven't implemented PvP yet. So, it really is just like a slightly harder... Ugh. Just a slightly harder solo experience, more than anything. Oh, damn it. I was trying to jump just so we can make it a little bit farther. Is that the most populated one? Uh, I can't really say for sure, to be honest with you. I know it's the one I usually play on. I started on the casual one. We all did, because at first that was the only one. Um, But I quickly found that I enjoyed... The solo experience and like, you know, progressing by myself more quickly. Or not more quickly, but progressing just by myself. Doing the progression myself. I definitely enjoyed that. And I feel like resources and things are too abundant. So I made a slightly harder server and I've been playing on that one more or less since then. Plus in the first one, since we were all learning, we all joined a guild, a group. Like one big group of everybody. Which is fun and all, but... Oh, um, but the progression that one person makes affects everybody else that's in the guild. So, yeah, I think I'm going to disband the guild, honestly. But there is a bug with, with guilds in the games. There's a lot of bugs in the game right now. It's basically an alpha product, so what do you expect? 
Um, so I just gotta wait until like everybody can get on that's part of the guild to disband it. That way everybody can just progress alone whether they want to on the uh, the PvP PvP server or on the solo server or sorry casual server. I'm still gonna leave guilds as an option in case people want to join guilds or whatever on the casual one. Cause I think there is a place for guilds, but it's just like I feel like since when you're in a guild, you can't have your own base or anything. All of your all of your bases and everything are shared with the rest of the guild members. So I feel like you kind of need to, if you're in a guild on a server, I feel like you kind of need to just play everything together. Like only play when other people are playing. Because the problem that we are having on the casual server right now is a few people that play more often than everybody else. Oh my god. They're much farther ahead in the game than, say, I am, who doesn't have as much time to play because of streaming and all that. So then we can't really do anything together because either one person is way over leveled for the content and or has already done it and can't do it again. Or um, you're much too low level to be doing the stuff that, you know, the other person's doing. So, oh my god, are we dead? No. We're going to die, though. That's some giant, yeah, <laughs> grass elephant looking thing. That's uh, one of the overworld bosses, I'm pretty sure. That's what you're talking about, like Mammo Rest or something like that. Because there's like overworld bosses, and then there's dungeon bosses, and then there's the tower bosses. And the towers are kind of like the gyms or whatever in a Pokemon game, right? Like... Um, that's kind of like the, the progression of the game is going through and beating all of the, the story progression, going through and beating all of the towers. And then there's the dungeons, which are just for exploring and getting extra stuff. I forget honestly what I got. I know the one dungeon that I've personally explored so far, there were some Pokemon that I hadn't seen, or sorry, pals, <laughs> that I haven't seen other places. So that was cool. And then... There was a boss, which uh, was catchable. So I have a boss Mon. So it's just like a slightly larger, more powerful version of a regular Mon. Uh, there were, it was pretty resource heavy because they would get some more resources that I, that were a little more rare in the regular, like overworld. And I'm pretty sure there was a chest with some sort of thing or whatever. Yep, no evolutions, at least not yet. I'm hoping that's something that they add, but I don't know if they will or not. Um, and then, as of right now, there's no PvP at all. Uh, I have it enabled on the server, so whenever the devs get around to updating it, it will, or should. There hasn't been any updates yet, so I haven't been able to actually test it. But it should automatically update and apply the setting um, whenever the devs get around to adding PvP during the scheduled restart time. Six or eight. Eight for the PvP enabled server, actually. Um, what else? You're, there's no PvP between pals right now. Um, guilds work, but in my opinion, need some more work. Like I mentioned, you can't leave a guild without potentially breaking the game. Um, <laughs> you can't have your own bases at all when you're in a guild. See, the way I feel like guilds should work personally in Pal World is that like there's a guild base that's shared with everybody, of course. And then there's and then everybody just gets like their own base is to do whatever they want. Like the guild base should just be a free one that's shared with everybody. And then everybody should still be able to do their own bases with own progression and everything like that. I did also notice uh, some cheese last night, which I'll let you know if you want. I didn't disable fast traveling on the solo server, um, the, the harder one, even though I was initially going to, because I noticed that you can only fast travel from like predetermined points or whatever and your base. So I was like, that seems fair, right? But then last night when I unlocked my second base, I noticed that <laughs> since you can just put bases down literally anywhere, 
uh, once you unlock your second base, or if you don't care about having, like, a dedicated place for your mon or whatever, you can just place down a base anywhere in the world and then use that as a fast travel point to get back to, like, another area or whatever. So, right now I have, like, my two bases, right? My main base that I started that, honestly, I hate and want to move, but whatever, it's a little late now. Uh, and then my second base, which is, like, a, a mining outpost. Those are the two bases that I have right now, but whenever I unlock the third, I might just not put it down anywhere. <laughs> and then just use it as a fast travel point for when I'm exploring higher level areas and stuff. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. To be honest, though, the fast travel doesn't seem that important outside of, like, I don't know, man. Because, like, if you're trying to find Mon, that's the only real reason to explore once you get set up. There could be more resources that I'm not aware of because I haven't been in the end game. Uh, like, content-wise, I've been to the end game area. But, like, the hardest thing to get seems to be ore. And there's plenty of ore in the starting areas. And then, like, stone... Stone, you can literally just set up a, a site with infinite stone in your base. Wood is the same way. You can just set up a, a site with infinite wood in your base. Like, the Powdeum stuff, you can crush stone to get Powdeum. The fiber, you can crush wood to get fiber. So it's like all of the main resources are either super abundant or there's an infinite source for your base. So I don't really think, like, I don't know, I just don't think fast traveling is really going to be all that necessary. Because it's not like you're having to explore to the end of the world to find some sort of resource and then fast travel back home to drop it all off or whatever. Can you make a boat or use a pal in the water? I believe so. Um, at the very least, you can get a flying mount, because you can get mounts. You can make, like, saddles for different mon. Right. To ride them around and whatnot. And while I haven't personally done it, I know that it's possible at least to get one of the, the flying mons a mount that you can actually then fly around like on the back of. You can also get mounts to like um, add new functionality to your mon. Because like you can make equipment for them, I guess I should say, instead of mounts, right? Even though I think they call them harnesses. You can get, like, a uh, Lift Monk, I think it is. You can put an SMG, give them an SMG. And then they'll hop on your head when you activate their ability for a limited period of time. And everything you attack, they'll just start shooting with the SMG. Um, and then one of the Fire Mon, you can, like, hold it like a flamethrower. And then, well, use it like a flamethrower. <laughs> so, like, there's definitely, you know, all kinds of interesting stuff that you can do with the game. Lily, hello! Lele attack God, just I'm redeemed trying so hard not to die. Okay, pause. You knew swimming was Breath of the Wild, like, so I was wondering how you could get to the other islands. Yeah, so it's actually possible... I don't know from the starting island, um, but from, like, the second island, it's possible to get clear to the end game on foot with nothing but the glider. Um, and I know that because I did it. <laughs> uh, it was hard, and it took like an hour and a half or something to get there. But it was possible to do with nothing but the glider and a little bit of extra stamina. Technically, though, if you had your stamina increased enough, you should be able to just swim across the water. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. But you would need to increase your stamina by a lot having different mon in your party also has different effects like uh the kativa i think it's called if you have that in your party it just gives you 50 extra carry weight just for having it in your party so like in the early game when you are doing big resource runs you could just have a party of like five of those things and just have an extra 250 carry weight which is pretty sick um, I know there's other ones that do different things, but I can't remember all what it is. You'll have to hop on tonight. We'll play together a little bit, and I'll show you some of the ropes. You can do... I'm, I'm fine with hopping on either one, the casual server or the other one. In fact... 
if I remember, I'll ask everybody to hop on tonight that's in the guild, and then I'll just disband the guild tonight as well. Because the bug is, like, if you leave or disband a guild, apparently... Well, oh, shit. You're switching to PvP? I prefer that one myself. The resources are more rare. Uh, like, it is a harder, slightly slower experience, to be clear. Just to... So, like, you know what's going to be going on. Um, but... Everything is boosted right now because of all the new players. I have boosted, like, the spawn rates of... Uh, I don't think I boosted the spawn rates of Mon. I, I could be wrong, though. I don't remember. I did definitely boost the spawns of resources and the experience rate and whatnot, though. That will be changing. Originally, I was going to let it go for a full 24 hours, but I'm going to set up a script so that it automatically applies changes during the uh, server maintenance period in the morning. Um, so... Probably for the PvP server around 8 o'clock is when that will end. And then for the other one around 6. I might let it go for an extra day, though. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah, no. So just so you're aware, it is a, a slower experience. That's all I was saying. It does take longer to do stuff. Hop on with Dave, and that's where he's playing. Yee, I saw his base there. It's too bad that, like, PvP doesn't work at all right now. Like, you can't steal stuff from people. You can't... You can't fight people. You can't do anything with it. Oh, bitch. If you do want to, like, guild up with somebody, though, you will need to hop on the other one. On the casual server, the one that you started on. Because that's the only one that has the uh, guilds enabled. I don't know what's the other direction. I want to go back. I... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't describe this game as hard, but I would describe it as, like, old school hard. You know what I mean? Like, not not as bad as old school games. Like, uh, like classic Ninja Gaiden or anything crazy like that. But there's definitely, like, some bullshit enemy placements and... <laughs> Let me dig! Let me dig! <laughs> I don't think the game wanted us to get those Scooby Snacks yet, but whatever. Anyways, there's definitely some, like, bullshit enemy placements and the instant death pits and all of that crap, though, which is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. My watch is going off? I don't know. Is it important? Probably not. No. Okay. The one thing I did notice... Is, uh, while you can't, like, raid people's chests and things like that when you visit their base, any of the resources that drop on the ground, you can just take <laughs> from other people's bases. So there is a little bit of PvP-ness, I guess, but that's currently true on the casual server, too, because that's just a game thing, you know? Because, like, it doesn't stop you from picking stuff up, it just stops you from interacting with anything in someone else's base. So if you have a mon, like, that drops wool in a ranch, then if I come through, I can pick up all the wool, because that stuff just drops on the ground. Or if you have one that's, like, chopping down trees, all of the wood just drops on the ground, so I can just pick it up and steal it, stuff like that. But... This might be more or less as far as we made it last time, which is kind of sad, honestly, <laughs> realizing, like, how early we are in the game here. But... Or no, did we... We might have made it back in the house. I don't remember. There's the two different Scooby games that we played, so, like, I'm struggling to re remember which is which. Can I make that jump? No, it won't even let me try. Okay. Wait. Have we been here before? No. Okay. For a second, I thought we just made, like, a big circle or something. But no, no, no. No, this is all new. And I really want to watch Scooby-Doo now. 
Specifically, it's the pup name Scooby-Doo one that's like stuck in my head. I don't, I don't think I can get that. That's, that's a gate. Okay. Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> is it going to take us all the way back to the beginning? Oh, no, it didn't actually. Okay, cool. So there are checkpoints, at least to some degree. Hmm, okay, we've definitely done this part. So I remember getting to the top to get the uh the helmet up there. Danger cliffs blow. Can we interact with this? Oh, it's a warp gate, okay. That's cool. Always handy. Super Smash to activate the stone switch and open the gates. Well we don't have Super Smash yet, so. More Metroidvania stuff. Weird to think of a Scooby game as a Metroidvania, but it is. <laughs> it's an interesting take on a on a Scooby Doo game. Oh god. Wait, do these actually fall or do they just move? Can't tell, but either way I'm scared. No! Oh, bro, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how we survived there. I feel like we should have been dead, that we were in that pit. I cannot wait until we can kill things. Of course, a lot of these platforms are so small. I don't know, like... Oh, God. Okay. I don't know if we really have space to bash and fight the enemies even once we do get the helmet up here i'm assuming it's the helmet that we use to kill things the bash ability we just found the professor's helmet invention now you can press the square button to dash ahead and bash objects and monsters i love how a bunch of the professor's inventions are literally just everyday objects right like <laughs> like a lot of them are just a pair of slippers. I don't think he invented slippers. He just gave us a pair of slippers. Or a spring. Or a football helmet. Like, <laughs> none of these are inventions, man. You just pick stuff up at, like, the local dollar store and call them inventions. I don't... <laughs> what are you doing, man? Can we just make this jump? Yeah. Wait, what'd it say? The tunnel will... I think it said return us somewhere, but... The tunnel will return you to the start of the hedge maze. Ah. Do we want to go back to the hedge maze? I guess? Is there anything we needed the helmet bash for? There was definitely a couple, like, spider web spots that we could have explored. <laughs> So do we need to go through it again? Curious, does this, if we go back through it, take us back up to the top of the mountain? Yeah. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but <laughs> but it says it does. Now where was the... Where were the webs at that I found? It's probably just Scooby Snacks, which we could ignore, but it could be something more important. Get wrecked. Help is full, okay. Oh wait, we can kill the witch! Get wrecked. <laughs> there was absolutely no need for that. Just wanted to kill her. Oh, no. 
Yeah, see, like, a platform like this, I don't think it's really a good idea to try and kill them, even. I think it's better to just avoid them if possible. I'm pretty sure we can't, like, dash up this, right? Yeah, no. I do wonder, though... I forgot that running was a thing. No, it doesn't seem to matter. Oddly, it seems like I can't do the the slide off and double jump when I'm when I'm running. Weird. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily want to, like, break the game anyways, even if we do figure out a way to, but it'd still be cool. Yeah, no, there's nothing over here. I'm struggling to remember where is that. Was it the, um... Was it, like, the greenhouse section, maybe? I know there were cob- Oh, you know what? It was in the mansion. That's what I'm thinking of. In the mansion, there were a couple webs that we couldn't make it through without having the bash ability. Yeah, we're in, like, completely the wrong area. I mean, I'm sure there's, like, some boxes or something for more Scooby snacks we can collect here. But yeah, this was completely unnecessary. Oh, well. <laughs> We're already, like, halfway through it. We might as well finish it now. Did we ever go this way? Huh. I guess we can't go this way. Thought maybe we could like bash through the gate like we did the the other one where we got the coin, but nope. Oh, it appears to open from the other side. Well, that'd be why. This is much harder without the Scooby Snack Trail telling me where to go. Damn it. Okay, we still had our iframes. I thought for sure we were about to biff it on that guy, man. <laughs> Jump right on top of him. GG me. Hello, Shaggy. We get another chance at collecting all the crap we missed over here because we did not do a very good job on this one. Who indeed? Jump, Scoob. Oh. Come back on, Scoob. I wonder when the platforms fall, do they like completely explode or are they just chilling on the ground? If they're just chilling on the ground, then we don't need to rush so much with them, but. I want to say they completely explode when they hit the ground, but I'm not actually sure if that's true. I could just be making that up. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize the platform was going to sink all the way into the ground when it <laughs> tipped over the seesaw. Shaggy, does the machine have a mind of its own, or do you just have problems keeping your hands on the wheel? Like, I just keep seeing him putting his hands just way up in the air, not touching the steering wheel at all. I think the problem here is you, my guy, not the not the the lawn mower. Come 
Okay, they completely disappear into the ground. I figured that's how it worked, but I wasn't sure. This is a teleporter. Yeah, let's go ahead and warp out of here. Uh, where's the... Would it be the mystery machine? Loom and doom in the town tomb? What is that? Ah, oh, whatever. Just... Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Go to the mystic manor. Wait, how do we actually teleport? X to choose. Wait, does it cost money? 28 of 220? No, that's how many we've collected, right? Warp gate not yet activated. Oh, we haven't gotten to the warp gate there yet. Wasn't there a warp gate? Oh, okay. There we go. You just have to click the mystery machine twice. Like, I could have swore there's a warp gate here in the first section of the game. There we go. This is the only place I can think that we can go to. There's definitely things we can smash in the, uh... In the seaside cliffs or whatever the hell it was called. But I don't think there's anywhere... Like, any progression we can do in that area right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, this actually, like, takes us all the way upstairs, too. So there's new stuff we could do after getting the, uh, the spring. Can we jump back up to here? Yeah, let's go. Can we go in the door? Locked from the other side. That's a no. Oh no! Son of a... Okay, I didn't expect that to fall so quickly. I was trying to get the stupid coin. I'm not gonna make it. Bruh. I suck at this game. Oh, you dick! Uh, I need, like, a bark or something like that so I can scare the stupid bats away or stun them or kill them or something. No! <laughs> Bro, okay. We're good. We're good. Ah, uh, the platforms didn't respawn, though, did they? We might not be able to get this monster token anyways. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, I give up. We're just gonna- <laughs> we're just gonna continue forward. We're obviously coming back out of that top section at some point. Because that door opens from the other direction. There we go. Now we can do it. Is the other one a sandwich, or was it a- it was a, yeah, okay, it's just a sandwich. It was more Scooby Snacks, I was gonna go back and try to get it, but... Right. Uh, I don't remember you being in here before. Imagine that's the way we need to go to progress. But what's back here? Is there just more snacky snacks? I like snacky snacks. Wait, is he not dead? Okay. Bro, I thought he was still alive. I was like, I hit you. I definitely hit you. Okay, it's just a different way around. Either way works.
fall oh, on the We definitely did all of this before too, and I just forgot about it. Cause I remember this. I remember, I think there's like a kitchen section up here somewhere too, with some like, stoves or something. I think we do something with them. Like light them or maybe blow out the flames. Something. I don't remember what, but. Oh, you're a dick. How did you hit us again? Oh, he's gonna. He's gonna murder my ass, dude. Right. It's the headless specter. Right. I'm just worried, like, if I do the, the head bash, that we're gonna end up, like, falling in these holes. I don't think it stops us, right? We can just walk in. <laughs> and if we can walk in, then I'm sure it'll also let us rush in, head bash in, whatever. Yeah, see stoves. I remember things. So we need to turn them off somehow. There must be a switch or something around here somewhere. And we probably need to hit this switch. Oh, that's not a bashing, like a, a butt bouncing switch or whatever. Oh, it makes it slippy though. Okay. Cool, that was close. Like ice physics whenever the water's on. Gib? Thank you. We go through this door? Locked from the other side, okay. Should have known. Is this the same room we were just in? Yeah, I think so. Can we like clip out of bounds? <laughs> that would be cool, you know? Okay, I, I'll stop. Can we go in here? Yeah. What's this do? Nothing, apparently. Bruh. Hit the switch. I wish my house had all these secret passages all over the place, you know? Like, <laughs> why do I gotta live in a, a boring normal house, man? I want secret dark passages that take me to every room of the house. Hidden behind every bookshelf and doorway. Climb above my stove to find secret snacks. <laughs> Not that we've had any problem with the number of snacks yet, but I kind of wish I wouldn't have unlocked the monster viewer area, whatever the hell it was called, just to save like a hundred some snacks. Oh, I kind of, I vaguely remember this area too, now that we're here. Because eventually like this fan turns on and we can blow ourselves up higher, I think. I think this is legitimately the last area that we did whenever we were just trying the game, though. And I hit the wrong one. Plot one, please. I do wonder, is this completion tracker for the whole game? Or is it just for... Can we not kill the ghosts? 
or just for the area that we're in? Oh my God, how long does it take for the save point to reactivate? There we go. Uh, I'm not sure. We're definitely not 25% through Mind Your Manor, so I'm guessing that's for the whole game? No. We really not... I guess we can't. But how do we... <laughs> do we have to jump under it? I'm gonna end up dying to this stupid thing. Maybe we can jump over him. No, we can't bash him. They're immune. I can just jump up from there. Thank God. <laughs> That's so much easier. These ghost enemies suck. Ooh. How do we get all that stuff? I want the snacks. Go this way first, maybe? Ooh. Ah, there we go. The fan's on. I knew there was some way to do it. I didn't think it was so quickly after getting here, though. Might as well go all the way back around, though, instead of turning around instantly. See what else is in the level. Plus, we might need some sort of... ...invention or something to make use of it. Wait, are we just collecting all of the keys? Are we just running away? Oh yeah, no, we can't attack. He's still here? He is, okay. Wait. Okay, but what was the other direction then? Oh, you're a dick. Drop food by any chance? No? Rude. Hold on, we'll come back for that. Damn you guys. There we go. Some delicious spiders. Hmm. Crunchy. Oh, we can't go back that way. Can we just jump down? Yeah. Chicken leg. Oh wait, we can't go this way? Oh. I thought, I could have swore that was like another path we could take. I guess not. Everybody to make things easier. Ooh, and get snacks. This game teaches good values. Murder equals snacks. Can I reach that? I don't feel like if I jump for that, it's not gonna work out for us. Maybe we get like a glider or a kite or something. Or that. Maybe we get that. Can I grab it? <gasps> oh, <sh> <laughs> Damn it. I thought we were gonna have to double jump off of it. I didn't think we were gonna be able to just like, man. 
Oh well. It's a short walk back up at least. Oh, you respawn. Well, both the witches did, but just the witches. Was that like a witch thing, them respawning, or...? What? Why didn't we grab that second one? We were on top of it, dude. Wouldn't be a PS2 game without at least a little bit of jank, I guess. Try this again. There we go. Are we just jumping? Oh, they're... Oh. There's stuff up here. But this is back where we just were. It's not like a new area. God, the camera sucks. <laughs> Just like moving around all over the place. I feel like there's a section coming up that I really struggled with. Where is the... Oh, it's right that? above the bed, okay. I saw them up there, but I couldn't figure out how to grab them. I thought they were a little closer to the screen than what they were. This is too calm. I don't trust. Oh, you're a dick. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Instant death pits scare me more than anything else in this game. I have a problem with collectibles, man. When <laughs> whenever I see collectibles, I just can't ignore them. This is the section <laughs> that I was remembering. This is the one that I struggle with. These platforms are just, or not platforms, the, the chandeliers that you grab onto. We just don't get along, me and them. What? I didn't grab it that time. <laughs> the first time I double jumped and it felt like I grabbed it and then jumped off of it. Like we did with that other chandelier. So this time I'm like, okay, I'll just single jump and then that'll fix the problem. We'll grab it and we'll go. But nope. The game just hates me, obviously. We hit our head off of it? Why did we not grab it? Are we not supposed to grab it? Maybe we're supposed to just go? No, I remember grabbing it. There we go. Oh Here shoot, hold on, fuck. Wait, does that come back? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll just respawn and do it again. We keep all of our collectibles, it's fine. Hopefully we can grab the stupid thing though. That's the hardest part. Oh wait, <laughs> okay. It must have still been on its timer from last time. Wait, did we not break it last time? 
Oh, maybe there just wasn't anything in it. Excuse me? Game? Grab? There's a sandwich, but I'm not worried about getting the sandwich. Oh, you're a dick. Oh my god! Why? Why are they so hard to hit sometimes? Let's just take us to like a save room or something. We can probably come back. Should be safe. I seem to remember it being there being some kind of loop. Yeah, okay. Now that the door is unlocked, we should be able to just go back through. Yep, yep. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, no. It brings us back to here, though? <laughs> Lame. Why wouldn't it take us back to where we came in at? That's dumb. I wonder if I could just, like... Wing over. Skip this whole section here. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Scooby was going wild on that chandelier there for a minute. What was it? There we go. Oh, never hear me. It's fine. Go this way. All scares upstairs. Uh, yeah, we'll save again. Why not? Since we just came into this section, I guess that's a good way to check, like... Oh, I forgot how long it takes to... Reset that save point. Nice. I... Okay. I'm sure if that was safe. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I grab that chandelier? Or is it too far away? Oh god, okay, we were on it. Oh, but we have the stupid bat up there. I'm just gonna ignore it. It's not worth it. It's like three Scooby Snacks. Oh. Bro! <laughs> hit the dude! Oh my god. I can hit him when he's off camera, not when I can clearly see him. I'm good at this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's fine. Try this again. There's something over here? Um... Damn it, which way are we meant to go? Thanks for the cake. I like cake. I still have no idea. Well, there's Don Knotts. Oh, man. I'm assuming this is the right way to go. Which makes me want to go back the other way, but... Hello, Scooby. It looks like you're going around in circles. This door takes you back to the first room in the mansion. I should clean up these webs, but I think I'll just stand around here a while longer. Uh, okay. So that must be the locked door from the first room in the mansion, maybe? 
Might as well unlock it, right? Hopefully it doesn't spawn us in a weird place again like that other room did. But assuming this one works the way you think it would, then we should be able to just turn back around and come back in. Hopefully. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Is it the the string? Maybe. Oh, sorry, Don. <laughs> Maybe the string hurts you too if you hit it. I was thinking it was just the flaming chandelier itself, but we definitely did not touch the chandelier right. that time. It's the headless specter. No food? No? Okay. Oh, you start. Oh, did I really? <laughs> I had no idea today was Matthew Lillard's birthday, but happy birthday, Matthew Lillard. <laughs> I can't, I can't say words, but <laughs> happy birthday to him. You'll always be the best Shaggy, man. I mean, original Shaggy's really good, but you'll always be my generation Shaggy. <laughs> He'd be 54? I knew he was getting up there, but damn, it doesn't feel like he should be 54, you know? Oh, you're a bastard. Want to drop me food at least since you like hopped out of nowhere and hit me? No, rude. Ruby snacks. Yes, I did know he's in the FNAF movie. He plays who I presume to be the bad guy. I haven't actually seen the FNAF movie. I've only ever seen like the trailer for it and uh, Matt Pat talking about it, but like he looks like the bad guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm assuming he's the bad guy. Could be completely wrong though. Wait, what? Was that on a timer, or why did that close already? We didn't even have a chance to, like, go over there. Ah, it is on a timer, okay. Let's collect the snacks first, then. Oh. Rude. Wait. Scooby! Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess it's just like, as soon as you touch the stairs, they go down. That's rude. Are you wanting to watch the FNAF movie, love? I'm not like a huge FNAF game person or anything, but... Excuse me. But I do want to watch the, the movie. Because I do think the lore for the games is interesting. And, you know, I like movies, so, like, why not? Wait, where? Oh, up here? I feel like we should be able to cheese that and, like... Maybe it has, like, invisible walls. I bet you that's what it is. That it has invisible walls that go up higher, except for that section where the, uh... Where the railing is a little bit lower. I love how, like, instead of just making a lower section of railing, a shorter section of railing for this, the devs just clipped the railing through the ground in a super obvious way. So you can, so you can just see the railing sticking out of the bottom of the... 
of the floor here <laughs> where they just grabbed it and moved it down a little bit <laughs> I like it it's good stuff what does this do Oh, I see. Damn you, whatchamacallit. Oh my god. There's so many enemies up there. Oh, I hate everything right now. I just want to get the stupid monster token because I can't help but want to collect everything. <laughs> I wish we could scare away or kill the bats. Wait, can we swing on these two? No, okay. Grab the token for Christ's sakes, please. This hallway not go anywhere? Oh, okay, it opens itself. So it's a it's another way around if you don't go through the the bookcase there that turns, I guess. Wait, is he not dead? Okay, there he goes. Is there a secret entrance through the fireplace there? Oh, you're a dick. What is that? Oh, that's like a big pack of Scooby Snacks. Scooby! Damn invisible walls. All right, through the door then. So we can't force our way upstairs, even though we can clearly jump high enough. I didn't realize we were on one health, man. Good thing Mr. Jeeper Creeper there is a turkey leg enthusiast. Not gonna lie, I expected those stairs to collapse as soon as we started going up them. Where's Shaggy? I hear him screaming. He must be in the center room here. Calm down, Shaggy. We're on our way, dude. Are you oh <laughs> being chased by bats. Wait, do we just ignore him? Like, oh, okay. Oh, we can scare away bats for Shaggy, but not for ourselves. I see how it is. I'm with you, pal. But the door's up there. Come on, Scoob. I can toss you up. What about you, buddy? You just gonna stay down here then? Oh, we can still double jump, okay. I think we missed one snack, which really bugs me, but we're gonna pretend we didn't notice.
Oh. <laughs> he just gets a flying platform. Wait a second, was that carpet clipped through the ground too? There we go. Wait, does it come back now? Okay. Oh, it's a flying carpet, that's why. That wasn't clipped through the ground, there was just a carpet, flying carpet hidden underneath. That makes sense. Oh, do I have to like bring Shaggy over here and make him stand on it? Ah, I see. Gib? Wait. So we got the soap. I remember them mentioning the soap, but I still don't know what our bubbles are. Are we not supposed to collect that yet? I don't know. As far as I know, we can't do anything with it. Did they not mean to put that this early in the game? And none of the other buttons do anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> collect this stuff? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Oh god. <laughs> well, I guess we're coming down here. Uh, this is where we wanted to be. It's fun. Use a little bit of health anyways. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm definitely not going for the Scooby Snacks in this area. I just went out of here. The swinging on stuff and the, uh, the bats are, like, the two worst things. It doesn't matter which one we try to go to. No, please. Okay. Oh, I thought we were dead. We're not dead, but I thought we were going to fall again. are surprisingly chill. Oh, there we go. I just couldn't see them shooting, I guess. Ooh. I probably don't need the sandwich then, huh? Can we not grab the chandelier? I guess not. Okay, whatever. I give up on trying to collect the stuff. We still need to collect some stuff, obviously, so we can get through the doors, but but I'm I'm not gonna try and collect everything. It's <laughs> too much BS. A big ass house. Wonder what that does. And a power up would a knight's helmet give us. What else are we needing still? We need the plunger to be able to get through the... Oh, damn. Okay, it's raining, so everything's kind of wet. Um... Yeah, we need the plunger to get through the... The tar sections. And then we need some way to like... 
butt bounce or something to hit like platforms. Not platform, but like buttons, certain buttons that we can't just press normally. And then I think that's it. At least that we've come across so far that we can use. You're new. Is there any way for me to kill you? No? Okay. So how do we get up from here then? Or do we not? Okay, well that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't work. We don't just jump down to our death. Slopes are so jank. Oh, damn, I didn't even see that rat. Nope. Oh, well, okay, whatever. We're going down here. Oh, this is where the gargoyle was, isn't it? I still don't know how to deal with you. gonna like come hunt for me or something that way I can use that oh we can just go around you okay, well. I thought we had to go back up this door where we're trying to go Fine, we have one hit left. Oh, does this literally just take us back to the beginning? Or not the beginning, but yeah. Okay, well. Anything else over here? <laughs> the save point. Okay, well. All we're missing is a couple snacks. Not a big deal. Um, game? I think you were meant to turn the camera perspective here. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, thank God. Give me that spidey snack. I need it in my life. Right. Yeah, that's definitely soap. But I have no idea what the soap does for me. We haven't unlocked any ability that uses soap. I think it has something to do with the witch's cauldrons, because that's when the game told us about soap, at least. But I thought we would have, like, unlocked a new ability or something that used the soap. Why I'm so terribly confused that we're collecting it and we don't have an ability that can make use of it as far as I know. Here's my li oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, there's a whole nother new invention from the guy. Literally just another dollar store investment. Add that in with the, the football helmet, the slippers, the spring, and the lampshade. We got all the keys. Presumably, that's what we were here for. Wait, is this where we came from? Did we just make a big circle?
think we're going the right way. <laughs> Tower in the Tower, part one. There's too many splitting paths. I don't know what to do with myself. Area 51 for PS2? I don't think I've heard of that one. Oh, you bastard. I mean, I'm assuming it's about aliens in some way. It sounds like it would be a first-person shooter to me. Wreck me if I'm wrong. Is it a game you've played before or something like new to you? I'm just curious if it's any good or not. FPS with aliens, yep. <laughs> I mean, FPS was really popular at the time. And the name Area 51 is like, yeah. <laughs> so, I kind of figured as much. And is covered with sticky tar, Scoob. Find a vention that will let you move freely in the sticky tar. Does, does that have something to do with the soap? Maybe it's not the cauldron, maybe it's the tar. You can like, clean it. Sponges for your feet. <laughs> but it uses a certain amount of soap to for the sponge to clean the, the, the tar up. Oh, oh geez, okay. I didn't think, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't fall in that death pit though. We just kind of slid right over it. Got really lucky. I have no idea where we are now, though. Between the branching paths and that slide. I'm completely turned around backwards. Oh, another key. Wait, we need to find another three keys? We were just in a section to find three keys. I, I was gonna say, I am on her, man. You can't tell me I'm not hitting her. Dick. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I just hit the dude. Oh my god. Wait, where's the other key? The three keys to unlock the door. Yeah. Where'd I miss one at, though? Probably in the maze-like section of junk back here. Yeah. They're like a branching path or something. Maybe above this witch. Did I jump over here? No, it's not there. Ah, through here. Okay. There a dude in there? I mean, I see eyes in it, but I don't know, like, is he gonna pop out or is that just background dressing? I'm guessing it's just set dressing. I feel like he would have popped out while we were on the thing. The magic carpet. I have to assume the game wouldn't let us just miss an invention if it was critical. So, like... <laughs> I think it's okay. The direction that we're going. Believe me, it would. Really? Also, welcome to old buds. Maybe we were supposed to find whatever the hell it is that uses the soap before we came this far. I have no idea. Where's the carpet go? I'll just collect the Oh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> There's a death pit. <laughs> oh. What 
Whenever we started falling, I thought we were just going to land back on the first floor here. I didn't think it was going to mean death. But that's okay. It's fine. I'll go to... <laughs> this game is such jank. I love it. Ooh. Nothing. Okay, well. It's worth checking. Take this too before we die again. I'm gonna try the rafters again. Most likely fall again, but this camera angle makes it really hard to see if we're on <laughs> the the rafters or not like how if we're in the middle of it on the side of it like a little bit more of a top down angle let's go i mean there is the shadow underneath scooby which does help but it's just really hard to see from the way the camera is laid out when the shadow is over top of the rafter and when it's just not. No. Those cubby scooby snacks aren't worth it. Mm -hmm. I say and then instantly jump down <laughs> back to the bottom. I thought it was a new area, not an area we had been through already. Okay, well, since we're here, there we go. Right. Oh, oh, God, I even knew those things were coming. <laughs> How do I get hit by all of them? Oh, that was close. Was that it? It was just for a sandwich? Okay. I thought maybe there would be like a monster token or something up here. Oh, that's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's on the other side of where the, the swinging, flaming chandelier thing is. No point in going backwards. It's a warp day. Dark and stormy night with a K. Oh, wait. Didn't we see a knight's helmet somewhere? Yeah, how do we get that? <laughs> Maybe we're on our way to it? It was in the outside section that we already went through, I think. But maybe we couldn't actually get it from there? I don't know. Oh my god, I'm, I'm dead. I can't, I can't charge for some reason. You do. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I too have switches in my house that just lower random gates. Oh, is it on a timer? Of course it is. Did that thing just shock random puddles? How did it... It was so far away from that puddle when it shocked it. Oh, 
can ignore the other Jeepers Creepers if we can. Let's get up here. No! What? Let me over it, man. <laughs> Invisible walls. The bane of my existence. No, get up there? Okay. Kill him, please, before he kills us again. This one, too. What is this even? Ruby snacks. But like some sort of messed up chimney? I think you need to get a chimney sweep up here. This gap in the gate tells me there's something over there, but I do not want to end up falling back down to the beginning. That was bad timing. Did I just jump on the bat? I didn't even realize it was possible to jump on them. Unless they were flying down super low, I thought they were just invulnerable. How can I not jump over this gate? It's right there. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. We're fine. <laughs> Oh, the carpet takes us over. That's handy. I jump that far? I can. Now, what's down here? Oh, just give me snacks. Still worth it. I've been trying not to miss anything, like going down the wrong paths first and whatnot, but I feel like we have, though. Right. Hold on, Shaggy. I'll get to you, bud. <laughs> With like these vents, I feel like we should be able to float it's up these on. vents. Winks, I know something scary is behind that door up there. Be careful, Scoom. Save your progress if you get a chance, pal. Okay. Is there a save point around here somewhere? That we can use? No. Can we... Okay. I was thinking it was just a dead end, but... Now we can use Shaggy, thankfully. Oh, that's slippery. Oh, that was our last life, too? Or not life, but last health? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something scary behind the door, I know. We're fine. There's probably something here, yeah. Oh. These ones are like always on fire. Geronimo! Oh no. <laughs> they drop Shaggy down the chimney. 
That's rude. Right. Wonder if it's on a timer though. Like, do we need to hurry the hell up? Oh. Oh, we can actually like use him to. <laughs> I love how our shadow looks, man, on him <laughs> when we're on top of Shaggy. It's so borked. <laughs> this is real PS2 hardware, by the way, not emulations. That's just how it looks in the game. That's fantastic. Wait, did we take too long or? Okay, we're fine. Is this tar? Oh, there's a bunch of tar right here. Okay. It feels like we should have the plunder by now. I'm surprised we're not sliding down it, to be honest. Boss fight? Well, hi there. You look friendly. <laughs> ah, the infamous Gooby Doo. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the mastermind. Dun dun dun. And the reason you're here. Who are? I'm the one who made Professor Graham disappear. Well then. I'm also the one who's brought back all of your old foes. But why? That is a mystery you will never solve. And one more thing. I'm the one who's kidnapped all your friends. <laughs> Wait, they've all been kidnapped? I know. <laughs> oh no! Scooby-Doo! See if you can get past this fiendish fright. You remember the Black Knight. <laughs> Wait, are we like saving them one by one? Is that oh. what we're doing in the game? Relma, he disappeared. We'll worry about that later, Scooby. Watch out, it's the Black Knight. Oh no. <laughs> I only have one attack. So <laughs> hopefully we can beat him by just like ramming him a little bit. Oh. Oh, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Wait, what what do the buttons do? I thought when he was like in front of Black Knight lock this door. Do we have to like... Oh, it does do what I thought it did. Okay, I just didn't have it like timed right, I guess. Can you come down here please, sir? Ow. Hit the button! <laughs> Walk over here. Okay, I need the sandwich before I die. Ah, oh, he's walking fast. Oh my God, there's a lot of things happening. All of which are trying to murder me. I really wish the witch would walk away from there at least. Oh, you bastard. Bruh, he's close enough. Just shock him. Come on. Get 
get over here. That was my chance. I was too busy jumping. No, he's in front of it. I'm gonna die. I don't think there's any more health. Oh well. <laughs> so at least now I know what the hell I'm doing. It's fine. have like a very predictable pattern, dude. You just kind of walk wherever the hell you want. There we go. That worked out much better. <laughs> Now what? Ah, oh, the gate broke. Or the fence, whatever. Wait, where'd... Where'd Velma go? Oh, right there. I was like, bruh, she disappeared. How am I supposed to save her? My glasses! Help me look for them, Scooby. Okay. Something Crunch. fishy's going on here, Scooby. We solved the mystery of the Black Knight ages ago. Have you found any clues? I don't know. There was a spooky groundskeeper. A spooky groundskeeper? Yeah, and ghosts and, and monsters. Scooby-Doo, you know there's no such thing as monsters and ghosts. Remember the first time we met the Black Knight? We thought he was a monster, but really he was just a guy in a mask. Aha! I found him! Jinkies, the lenses got knocked out. Where's the lenses, Velma? Thanks, Scooby. I can't see a thing without these. Jinkies, Scooby, it's the Creeper! The Creeper? Where? He's, he's everywhere. Run, Scooby! Velma, wait! I don't see any Creeper. There's something to do with the lenses? Professor Alexander Graham. Okay, and you found one of my amazing invention crates. Let's see now, what's in this one? Uh, oh, here we go. Well, inside this box, you should either find my automated herring scraper or my anti-stick galoshes. Oh, looks like it's the galoshes. With these, you can walk across any sticky surface and not get stuck. And best of all, <laughs> they're banana flavored. Oh, banana. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Why would you flavor some boots, man? But all right, so his next invention is rain boots. That <laughs> that makes sense. So does it just work on sticky surfs? I mean, that's all he said, but it would be cool if we didn't slip around in the rain anymore either. Where are we? Oh, monster token, nice. Right. I'm guessing it just automatically uses them since it didn't say anything to us about like press this button to use or anything like that. Um. Have we been here? I think we've been here. Oh god, I have no idea where to go next. I am so lost. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. okay. I know that fishery area, there were definitely things we could do once we got the boots. And in the, the corn mazy type area, or not corn maze, but the, the garden maze area, there was definitely stuff we could do. I forgot all about this section. How do we go to the other side of it there? Also, I haven't been down here yet. Oh, is this how? 
Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Maybe? Uh, maybe not. I mean, we're definitely going up, but I don't see that monster token that we... Oh, yeah, no, it's like halfway, it's like in between. Like, no? Hmm. No idea how to get through there, then. Well, next time we come across a... Whatchamacallit? A warp point. I think we're gonna go... Back to the beginning? And then check out, maybe... That fishery area. The canning area. Whatever the hell it's called. Again. There's definitely some new places we can go with the boots. I don't think any of the other inventions really do anything for us, but the boots definitely do. I would like to find how to, like, do a proper ground pound before we go back to the garden maze or whatever area. So I remember at least one section there, like, that we need to hit the button to open the, the gate. That we can't like grab that rope. I mean, it's on fire. It makes sense we can't grab it, but it would make our life a lot easier. Uh, dark and stormy night. Wait, so does that mean? Was that the end of this area entirely? Like, we made it all the way to the end of this this road here. Who's Yella in the cellar? In the cellar? So we haven't been to the basement. Clamor in the manor. How do we get to the basement? Is it the Smuggler's Cove? Yeah. So there's definitely a lot of new places here we can go. Apparently there's a secret passage. Between the two? Interesting. Seems like it's right here too. Like right in the beginning of it. How did we get over to those other two? Like, how did we unlock the fear on the pier, but none of this stuff in between? That's weird. And there's the hedge maze, which we've been about halfway through, it looks like. A little less than halfway, maybe. Uh... I have no idea. Let's just go to the Smuggler's Cove, because that's where I figured we need to go next. It's a warp day! I feel like we're going to need more inventions before we continue on through the other one. Yeah, we have the helmet, but we can't, like, ground pound this button yet, right? Yeah, no. Okay. But we should be able to go over this now. Frosty's Cannery. Oh yeah, no, this is all new. This is 100% new to me. Oh, this is rude. <laughs> Conveyor belts? Oh god. <laughs> Can we outrun them? 
Barely. Oh god. Come on. Don't fall. What are you? Oh, well, we fell. And it's very slippery down here. I'm assuming these pile of bones would hurt if we touch them. I have no idea what that did. Or no, okay, it doesn't hurt, thankfully. It's still slippery, though. Does light want to, like, go up? No. Can I jump up there from here? Oh, God, I can. Okay. Oh, bro, I don't know how to move any faster. Did that turn off the conveyor belts? No, it's definitely still pressed. Run, Scoob, run. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if we cheese that section or that's how you're meant to do it, but whatever, we got through it. I still have no idea what that button even did. Okay, four locks. You know what to do with that. I feel almost like we need to go down there, though. There's probably going to be some keys hidden down there somewhere. But there's definitely a couple keys hidden up here. At least one, because I can see it right here. We might as well... Oh! That's a stink bug. I freaking hate stink bugs. I thought they would all be, like, gone. Give me a sec. I'm going to go grab a drink anyway, so it's a good time for a break. I'm going to catch this stink bug, grab a drink, so I'll BRB. <laughs> Because time is an issue, but it could be enjoyable. So far, it seems seems decent enough. The ball moves way faster than I know what to do with, though. No, we were so close. Okay. Oh, I hit it with a backswing. Did not mean to do that. Shit. I need to get, like, some pinball attachments, man, to, to my desk. That's actually the uh, arcade machine that I want to get eventually. Actually does have pinball uh, attachments that you can get and add onto the side. Bruh. Was that the last ball? That was the last ball. Holy hell, we did terrible. Anyways, because uh, it's like an arcade machine. It has, you know, a bunch of different games that you can play on it and whatnot. But you can also load pinball, video pinball games into it. And uh, so you can get attachments for the side for the little flippers, which are I think is really cool. One of these days, if I, whenever I do eventually get it, because I do plan on getting it someday, I'll uh, make sure to show it off on Discord, dude, because I actually think it's really cool. I like old arcade games. They're fun to just fuck around with, you know, every once in a while, especially Galaga, because Galaga's where it's at. High score is 5,730,000 by Tim. Hmm. I feel as though you missed my message. Maybe? My sins are high because of Pinball 2001. Myself silence, so we'll see. I see that one. Jesus, fuck Tim. Yeah, Tim obviously plays way too much of this. Sent in Discord. Also, when my grandmother le learned it, also act as a pressure cooker. She got scared. <laughs> she wouldn't let you order it, <laughs> had she known. I mean, pressure cookers are actually really safe, man. Modern pressure cookers. The problem with, like, the old pressure cookers is you basically just sat them on your stove and then let them rip. So, like, if the pressure valve got a little little dirty or stuck or anything like that they could you know blow the hell up essentially and like it's technically possible for any pressure cooker to blow up obviously but it's really unlikely to happen with with modern day machines 
especially like the new electric ones because they're temperature controlled and, and pressure controlled and all that like like the the instant pot and the ninja that noodle and i have um they have so many sensors in them to to make sure that doesn't happen that yeah i i don't know how you could possibly get it to blow up i see how tim got so many points all of a sudden though because we already have three hundred seventy thousand, and we've hardly done anything you just you just get three zeros automatically <laughs> you let her know that good oh dude why uh, I hate the little areas in pinball machines where you just automatically die. You let her know that? Yeah, I mean, if it... I, I, Noodle and I have used our pressure cooker. It's a it's a ninja one, not a... Uh, not a... Uh, oh, there is a tilt. Not a... Shit, dude, I can't... Why why does tilt keep popping up? Oh, I can't flip. Uh, go Go back flat. Stop! Stop the tilt! <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Anyways, ours is a ninja one, but uh, we've used it a handful of times and never had any any problems with it. Like, if you cook with it in the stove, make sure the burners are off on the stove, not in the. Okay, I'm back. Got a drink. We're good to go. Oh wait. Didn't we just die? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. I thought we had just died. And that's why I decided to take a short break. Maybe not. I'm very confused. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm always confused. What's new? Uh, where are these other three keys? Oh, you're creepy looking. I can't, I can't charge. <laughs> I can't, there we go. Oh, thanks for the cake. I definitely needed that. So it seems like when you're sliding. Okay, if you're, you can't slide in like, or you can't charge in the opposite direction that you're sliding rather. Wait, is there just an invisible wall over here? Why? It looks like there's a real wall over there. Why, why have the invisible one? That makes no sense, game. There's a key and a button of some sort. That, did that lower this? Is it going to go up? There it goes. I assume that's what the button did. I mean, it had to have done something, right? What's with these weird-ass invisible walls? There's one right here, too. Like, we can go to the edge of this platform over here, but we can't go any closer to the screen there. That's so weird. Right. Crab. Excuse me? Crab, I'm trying to crush you. Thank you. Right. Oh, cool. Just wandered upon another E. I was wondering where the next ones were. I'm, like, looking off in the distance trying to see if I can see them anywhere. But, but I guess we're just... We're just gonna wander into them and get lucky. That's fine. Oh, there's another button over there. But it's, like, one of the ones that we need to crush with our bum. We don't have that ability yet. Oh, but there's the final key, so... Whatever this is, I guess it's not necessary. Hm. Okay, well. Final key it is. Is this the... Is this the exit? Or no, it was... It was over there, I think, yeah. I think this is the starting area. Yeah, 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 okay, because I remember this now. We want to go this way. I think that door right there to our right. 
is the one that was all locked up. Not anymore. Hopefully. We collected the four keys at least. So I don't think it will be. No, you're a dick. Oh, wait. Will this just take us up there? Hey, okay. That's a lot easier than going around all that crap. Through the door. Fishy clues for Scooby-Doo? Part three. Another key section, or? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing any keys anywhere, at least. And it didn't give us, like, a little show of this is the, the locked up door. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Uh, let me on, please. Where are we even trying to get to, though? Are we... I guess that exit sign down there? I mean, I feel like we could have just jumped over there a lot more easily than going all the way around, but... Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Guess we're going down here instead. I really wonder if, like, there is a power-up that makes us not slide around like this. It would make a lot of sense if it was the rain boots that did it, but obviously not. We already have the rain boots. Nothing else down here. It's just collectibles. The breakable chest? No. Here, back to the beginning. Kind of rude game. We could have at least fallen on the other side. I'm to just jump to the other side once we get to the top here. I assume that however we get back over, over here will keep us on this side at least. Yeah. We just skipped all these other platforms. I mean, that is going to give us a Scooby Snack deficit if that ends up being important, but it made getting to this door a hell of a lot easier, so <laughs> I'll take it. That's a trade-off I'm willing to make. Extra token. And I assume the game gives, like, extra Scooby Snacks anyways. We don't need every single one that it puts out there. Oh. It should be fine if we decide to skip a couple every now and then. Wonder how we get over there to the monster coin. Yeah, we like carry some momentum on these platforms on the conveyor belts. Oh, oh God, game! Oh, oh my God. Oh, let's go. Okay. Where I roam. It's not where I was trying to go. I was actually trying to go above us here, but there's an exit. Oh, these only sh go the one direction. Well, Where I roam. lame, but what if we like... It's all working. Are we not supposed to do that? Is that... <laughs> I guess there's like a platform right here that comes up, so... So yeah, that's fine. We didn't like skip anything. Okay. 
go up there. Is there anything back there, though? Feels like there should be. Oh, there definitely is. There's one of the, the fans. Oh, GG. How did you not... Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. She can live. I don't care. Let me on the platform. I want out of here. Damn it, I couldn't help myself. Uh, maybe we can make the jump. We most definitely cannot. These doors are getting pretty expensive to open. I, sooner or later, I might have to run around just collecting Scooby Snacks. I just want to find, like, the next invention, man. Maybe figure out what the hell the soap is for. I'm also very curious what these fish are. We keep coming across these butt bouncing buttons. Makes me wonder if we should have went the other way first after all. we put on our boots? We do. Let's go. Lighthouse. Fishing village. That's another fork in the road. I feel kind of like we should stay in the area we're in before moving on to another one. But I have no idea, man. Bill's Boat Shop? Where is this? Fear on the Pier Part 2? Haven't we done Fear on the Pier Part 2? Or been here at least? Oh. Okay. Maybe. Can we go down here? Not really. So I'm guessing this is like the area that we need the boots to jump over the barrels or whatever. Yeah, right here. Okay. I don't think there was anything at the end of this, right? I didn't notice before there's stuff under it, though. I don't know how we go down there. <laughs> so we can go up here now. Does that change anything? I don't think there's really thing, anything over here other than some snacks. Snacks and a save point, yeah. Wait, is this the lighthouse? No. Wait, is it? Is there a light going around? Yeah, okay, so this must be the lighthouse. So wait, did were the signs switched? I was wondering whenever we touched that one sign in it, and it like spun around, I was wondering if the signs got switched. take us anywhere new? And grab the seagull, maybe. When it comes back. If it comes back. Oh, 
Oh shit, stay hold of it. Gonna take us somewhere new, or is it just like last time where it's just a shortcut to somewhere we've been before? See, that's all new down there. We've never been in any of that crap. Wait, does it just make a circle? Oh, hold on. Let me go in here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think it's just collectibles anyways from the look of it. So yeah, I don't think there's any need for us to actually go in there. Back to where we were. It's nice that the game adds, like, new enemies and things as we revisit these places we've been before. Keeps it a little more fresh and dead. Good job. Oh, don't do that again. I mean, there is stuff down there, but again, I'm assuming it's just collectibles. That's all it looks like, just more Scooby Snacks. I don't think we need to go down there to actually progress the game at all. I missed that jump. <laughs> God, I suck so much. Oh, boy. Okay, so then I guess we do actually want to go this way. Ghost for some ghosts. Yes, we'll save. What time is it? 8.22? We have a little bit longer. We'll probably find another save point before time to go. I think we're good. Can you die, crab? Crab? Oh wait, it only swings. Which way does it swing? Hardly swings at all. Is it just for the sandwich there? That seems weird. I don't know about that. Bruh, that was rude. <laughs> That line of Scooby Snacks made me think that it was safe to jump down right there, but led us straight to a death pit. Rolling us over here. So ignore that. Just come on, <laughs> bro. Oh. I hate skipping all of these things, but like, it's too much of a pain in the ass to get them to be worth it. That crab just like, oh. Oh wait, I can't... Oh. Can I run up? No. Nope, okay, it's definitely sliding me back down. So can't go that way yet. That's another like plunger section, even though it's not covered in tar. It's a slippery slope, so 
It makes sense to me, at least. Oh, it's another key section. Didn't even notice the key graphic up top there. Are they all just hidden in the in the crates? I really hope the last one's in this crate here. That's yes, good. That did not feel necessary to be a key section, since everything was right there in the one little spot. I think it could have just had it spread out a little bit more, but what do I know? Or just not had it at all, one or the other. Wait, did he hit us? Bruh, I was charging. I'm calling Jank. Oh, wait, did he hit us? I don't know. Our health is full, so maybe not. This feels like instant death. <laughs> We definitely need to collect some Scooby Snacks, though. Eventually, we're going to end up getting to a door that we can't do anything with if we don't. Oh, God. Um. Okay, yeah, it raises up, like, right after the other one. Okay. We're good. Feels like we should be able to go on top of them, too. Aw, oh, that was weird. Maybe it's not instant death. I mean, it's giving us a crap ton of health through here. I don't want to test it, though. Let's go. Guessing since it's leaking, that means it's gonna sink. <laughs> I saw the dude over there. I didn't want to run into him. I was like, oh, I'll just readjust real quick. Bad idea. sometimes the game is so generous with the food like dropping from enemies and stuff and then other times it's just like nah doesn't want to give up any of it at, at all yeah it's slowly getting more and more expensive it's up to 500 my guess is the next door will be like 550 it seems to go up by roughly 50 each time so Oh, hey, there's Don Knotts. We haven't seen him in a while. Lighthouse, Fright House? Was that another boss then? It feels like the end of a section, right? Huh. I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, continue. I don't know. Let's save. Let's go down and talk to Don. See what he says. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. Need my help again, do you? Nothing out there but old shipwrecks. Better float like a feather to get out there. Ah, uh, so no. This is a section we can't go to yet. We need uh, another invention. So maybe it's some sort of boss fight or something eventually. Maybe. But right now it's a whole lot of nothing. Can we make that jump? It seemed awfully far. Oh, yeah, okay. We can, it's just... It's a close one. Go down here. I don't know if that was smart or not. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is... I can't run that fast. Oh, R1. R1 to run. I forgot that's a thing. Okay. We'll try that again. Hmm. Looks like there might be something over there, too, but... Doesn't seem like we can interact with it right now. Uh, run. I don't know if running actually helps us jump farther or not, but you know reason not to. Running. Please tell me we can outrun this. Okay, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> we didn't even get our reward for doing it. Right. What did we miss then? Anything? Oh. No. Oh, it reset though. Try again. We can jump this, right? I'm not sure if we can. Yeah, okay. You just have to, like, jump out farther than I thought. That's fair. Oh, damn. We haven't seen a flower in a while. What do you got for me? Just more food? Yeah. Oh, shit. We're back to Lighthouse Freight House. Um... Oh, this is a new Lighthouse Freight House section, though. This is up towards the Secret Passage? This map is confusing the hell out of me. I have no idea where we are 90% of the time. What do you do? Raise that up for some reason. Do I care? Does that do anything for me? Run. Presumably it does. Why else would it be in the game, right? But... Are we supposed to, like, beat it up here? I hope not, because <laughs> we're definitely taking our sweet time getting up there. Oh, I thought we could get around her. Oh, this is like a much bigger lighthouse, isn't it? Wait, did we beat it up here, or were we too slow? There's no fall damage, right? Guess when we were too slow. Okay. That's fine. Now run. run. Damn you. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to get around you.
God, we're slow. He's not a fast dog. No, hit her, don't. Okay, we're up here. Now, oh, oh. Awesome, Scoob, you just found the Professor Super Smash invention. Hey, there we go. Now you can press the square button after jumping to smash down on buttons and monsters. Nice, okay. So there's one thing. I'm trying to remember the last time we needed that, though. I know we've needed it recently here. There was that one section back in the beginning area of the, the cannery or whatever that used it. Kind of surprised there's not like a Skyrim door around here somewhere, you know? Like a shortcut out of here? Just because that's the game's been doing that a lot. I've just kind of grown to expect it, but nope. Seems like we have to go backwards. God. Jumping towards the camera with death pit scares me. It feels wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, we're fine. <laughs> oh, God, that scared the hell out of me. Oh, no, we need the feather thing to go this way. Did we get the teleport for here, at least? Did we unlock it? We did, okay. All right, well, in that case, I think we're going to go ahead and teleport back to, like, the main area here. We're roughly halfway through the game. That seems like a decent place to call it for the night. It's getting close to ending time anyways, and I don't know how long the next section is going to be like in between save points or anything like that. So that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out while we played a little bit of Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. I do appreciate you all coming out. Uh, I'll be back. What is today? <laughs> Today's Wednesday? Right? <laughs> I think today's Wednesday. So I'll be back tomorrow night to play some Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragon Spear with my brother. Um, so yeah, hope to see you guys there. Till then, have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Instant Pot, like literally that's the brand. Yeah, I know, I know. We have a Ninja Foodie. It's also a, a Instant Pot. I, I know Instant Pot is a brand, but like, I feel like these days Instant Pot is, is big enough that somebody says that they just mean you know pressure cooker like